So now that I've upgraded my RAM to 16 gigabytes, I wanted to just jump in and just try to get a few games going, see what the first impressions are going to be like with this upgrade. And immediately, well, Far Cry 6 actually works this time. The last time it wasn't even working, it would actually crash before it would even load into the in-game benchmark, and we could only load into the campaign for what was essentially just a few seconds before it would inevitably crash to desktop. And now you can see we're actually in the single player it's actually running and surprisingly no crashes whatsoever and you can see it is still eating up a lot of ram i mean 14 out of 16 gigabytes being utilized should pretty much just tell you that we are hitting kind of the limits here 32 gigabytes might not actually be that far out of the question here it kind of already has me rethinking my purchase here taking a look at the divisions 2 built-in benchmark though we can see that there is a noticeable performance uplift though the one percent lows continue to be a problem but still by the end of the benchmark it did end up providing a higher result of about 10 fps so really the 16 gigabytes does make a noticeable difference in the division 2. and i also decided to try out rainbow six extraction on here because it has the built-in benchmark and the thing that became the most obvious while running this was just how consistent those frame times are there are no noticeable spikes the one percent lows are very very close to those averages overall this is a pretty rock solid experience at 1080p and you'll see that the ram usage is relatively high so it's pretty obvious that the 16 gigabytes of ram are coming in handy here though not to the degree that it makes this a completely remarkable experience but it is a welcome boost in performance next is god of war running at 1080p with fsr at the lowest performance level and unfortunately even with fsr and the 16 gigabytes of ram we just do not get a playable experience out of this that is that great Rate. It's certainly not completely unplayable, but we are at a level of performance that I think would be pretty rough for a lot of people. You have to pretty much just be fully committed to playing the game to really stomach this level of performance. And you see, we're not even really using that much RAM here. We are, of course, using more than the 8GB limit we were at before, but we're not pushing anywhere too hard onto the 16GB that we're at now. So this is really just telling us that we are mostly GPU limited here. And the last thing I wanted to look at was horizon zero dawn now this was one that would not even run on this chip just getting it to start was already very difficult once it would load into the menu and i'd start the benchmark it would crash to desktop immediately i would try to load it into the single player and it would crash to desktop it was pretty much just a no-go with the eight gigabytes of ram i tried every solution possible out there there was no way to get it to work and here just upgrading to the 16 it immediately started up everything's been working perfectly fine so this pretty much has just shown me that the biggest upgrade here is the fact that for the games that are really ram limited it's going to actually let you run them but for games that for the most part we're struggling to run you're not going to notice a huge improvement so really it's not going to be a miracle cure for your gaming performance on here more than likely you weren't really limited by your ram too much as much as you were just limited by the weak performance of the gpu so don't expect this to be a cure all solution but it definitely will help in those situations where you could not even run anything because of the fact that you were limited so from here on out i'm pretty much just going to be testing everything with these 16 gigabytes i still have a few things recorded that are at the 8 gigabytes and once those are out that is going to be pretty much it for testing anything at 8 gigabytes unless i get another laptop in that has only 8 gigabytes but i appreciate you watching i will see you guys next time